Hey everybody, PTO Pro here. Today we're going to talk about a library that I recently implemented uh, so that you can import content from Git directly into Drupal. So first thing you need is a Git PHP library. Git PHP library is a, a nice little wrapper library that allows you to call Git, you know, create repos, basically execute Git commands from PHP and do it in a nice little object oriented way. So call something like git open and then path to a repo, or um, you can pull it down that way as well to clone a repo. So what we did was implemented that library uh, with Gitbook and Gitbook is a library that has multiple ways of processing right now. It can do read the docs. And if you're not familiar with read the docs, read the docs is a sweet little thing. Um, you pull your, your documentation into it directly from your GitHub repo. So for example, this is my GitHub repo for Elms LN. And see, I've got doc section. Basically, it'll read off these markdown files and turn it into a nice little microsite uh, using this mkdocs.yaml file as its structure. So then I get a nice microsite like this and say, hey, what's the roadmap of the project, etc. And it's in version control, which is you know pretty cool as well. So what you need on your servers, you need YAML support. Uh, you also need Git, and you need a private files directory. So let's try this out in the context of Elms LN. Show, go to modules. We've got these modules in scope. And so to Git, we've got Gitbook, read the docs, and Git PHP library. What this does is it'll give you a content type and some logic for how to manage the content type. So you see there's a git book content type and it's got the body field and it's got a repo that it's connected to. So what we're going to do, also get a sneak peek at the new Elms LN interface we're working on, is we're going to add a child page to this and it's a git book content type. So the book we're going to add is actually the Drush docs. And so to import, make the docs format, we go grab the git repo paste it in the repo field, the docs for Drush. Okay, and you'll see it's going to go into the book outline we're currently working in. We'll hit save. And what's going to happen on the server, see, in our private files directory here, we've got a Drush folder that was just created. If we go into Drush, we'll see it's checking out a Git repo, and it's done. So it checks out the Git repo looks for this mkdocs.yaml, and then kind of walks through the docs directory and builds out the, the book. And so what we've got is Drush docs, docs for Drush, and you'll see I put it under this documentation page, so it's a child under there. I've got Drush docs, which is these docs pages, and then the structure that's out on the Drush repo. So see we've got Drush Docs, Home, General, here's all those pages in the right order, writing commands. So let's look at command authoring. Now you see I don't have a markdown filter on, but it did a full, full import of the Git repo. I can now navigate this as a book. I can use all the Drupal modules available to me. And what we want to get to is kind of the ability to go both ways with this. So if you've already set up your server to have authorization to do this, uh, you should be able to make some changes and then have it ask if you'd like to, you know, author a commit back to the, the original repo. And then you could kind of just go to, and we'll cheat here for a second, go to the books, right? So you could go to something like outline designer and maybe I've moved some pages around in here. The idea then being, I could click this and say like, all right, sync this or go to it and have a sync tab, uh, which would then run those drush commands. So you can pull in, you know, Whatever repo you want, um, it's pretty easy to do the get the make the docs integration. Uh, I've been playing around with it with the Elms LN structure. We're actually probably going to make our own um, structure of how to kind of drive Elms LN as far as setup using this, so that you could actually pull in content outlines, name the system that you're you know the course you're going to run, the network, um, the systems that that should have uh, assignments. Uh, stuff like that and be able to do it all from a versioned file that lives externally, which is pretty cool. It really empowers uh, faculty. So yeah, please uh, put some issues in the queue. Um, 
Thanks for checking it out.